Hello everyone, this is Sapinat and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how I accomplished another DIY landscaping project in our backyard. Our backyard landscape is almost 100% done and I'm so proud to say that I did all this by myself with some help from my hubby. We love our backyard and we enjoy hanging out here every day. As you can see, this area used to be a hill of dirt because we put all the dirt that we dug up from the other parts of the backyard. My original plan was to just plant grass here and build a hobbit house, but I figured that would be more difficult for me to do and I might have to hire somebody to make the hobbit house since I'm not good at woodwork. So I decided to build a pond instead and so far I love the result. It's so relaxing and calming, especially at night when it's quiet and all you can hear is sound of the water. I started building the pond on the first week of August, it's still summer here in the United States and super hot here in California. The temperature has always been more than 100 so it was hard for me. Also I went back to work because summer break is over so I could only work here on weekends. That's why it took me more than a month to finish this DIY project. I could only work early morning until 9 when the weather was still cool and I had to wait until 7 in the evening when the weather would start to cool down again at sunset. Anyway, to build the pond, these are the materials that I use. The solar water fountain pump that I bought on Amazon. It costs $71 and package includes a 2 watt solar panel, a water pump, stakes, extension rod, and two nozzles. This water pump is powered by a solar panel in direct sunlight. It only works during the day when there is sunlight and does not come with a battery, but I bought one which I will show you later in this video. Mac Court 5.91 feet by 4.83 feet black high density polyethylene pond liner that I bought at Lowe's for $138. I also bought some plants at Lowe's and all of them cost $128. Beside the two Japanese maple trees that I planted 5 months ago, we don't have other trees in our backyard so we had to buy more trees to provide more shade. We got all the boulders or the bigger rocks for free from our community here in Plumas Lake. We also have a lot of leftover rocks when we did the landscaping on the other parts of the yard including the pathways. First I planted the trees that we bought at Green Acres Nursery in Roseville, California. We actually bought 4 trees, a peach tree, 2 crepe myrtles, and a redbud merlot. I planted one of the crepe myrtles and the peach tree on the other side of the yard. I planted the redbud marlot here and the other crepe myrtle. The hardest part was digging because the soil or the clay was hard. I actually had to dig just a little bit, about 2 inches deep and fill the hole with water and soak overnight to soften the ground before I continued digging the next day. I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I- Finally, I was able to plant both trees. The next day, I dug up a hole for the pond. The pond line is about 5 inches deep, but I only dug up about 2 inches. But before I started digging, I wanted to try to put the plants around it to see how it would look like. And so I could plan how to position the plants later. Can land your own brand and damn I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower I could have dug deeper but it was really hard to dig the ground So I decided to stop digging I thought that the pond would look a little bit nicer anyway When it's a little bit elevated and not level to the ground I put, I put the pond liner and then I put back the dirt that I dug up around it to cover the gaps I sprayed water and tapered the dirt with a shovel and bricks to make sure that there would be no gaps underneath the pond liner and around it. I had to wait for the next weekend to continue working because I had to go back to work the next day. The next weekend I put the plants and I also put the rocks around the pond at the same time. I wanted to use flat rocks but I couldn't find any nearby store to buy some. And I also did not want to spend so much money so I ended up using the rocks that we got from the community for free. I definitely would need to add more rocks but I wanted to continue working on it anyway because I was so excited to finish it. I would also like to put other plants around the pond like elephant ears but since this area doesn't get enough shade, I don't think that the elephant ears would survive the heat. Besides, they don't do well in winter, so I just put whatever plants that would survive winter and some would become dormant in winter but will grow again in spring. These are also the cheaper plants I could buy from the store and most of them were on clearance sales so I saved a lot of money. 
I divided the grass so I could fill up more space and I thought they were gonna die because they might have suffered stress because of the heat. Their leaves were turning brown and they burned. But they were able to survive and grow new leaves as you can see later on the last part of the video. The next day I sowed grass seeds in the space where I was not able to put plants because I didn't have any more plants to put there. Then I built a path walk using the leftover pavers and river rocks which I would change later because I didn't like how it turned out. After three weeks, the plants have grown new leaves and they are doing so well. The grass seeds I sowed have grown as well. Today, the fourth week, I went to the creek nearby to look for lilies I could put on the pond. Ow! Oh, gee. Okay. No, 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 I'm gonna use my uh, tripod. I'll just clean it up later.
This solar backup battery storage, the brand is also eco-worthy and I bought it for $37. This has been working great and it keeps the water fountain running at night until early morning the next day. So this is how I built our DRM pine and now I'm so ready to put fish in there. It has been two months since I started building the pond and I got three goldfish from the neighborhood here in Plumas Lake. So I'm so happy that we finally have fish beds. They make our pond more alive. I named them Jamba, 76, and Circle K. I know it sounds sweet, but those were the names that came to my mind when I was thinking of names. Circle K and 76 gas station in the neighborhood just opened a month ago, and Jamba just opened two weeks ago in the same building where Circle K is. So I thought it would be fun if I named them Jamba, 76, and Circle K. If I get another fish, I will name it Pizza Hut. Thank you for watching my video and I hope that you learned something. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet for more videos.